Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. The state line has seen more than enough snow since the beginning of meteorological winter back on December 1st. Since then, we've had 31.2 inches of snow at the airport, about five inches above average. And you can see here well above what we had going to this date last year. Now, as we look at snow chances for the foreseeable future, we do have a chance this afternoon. Once again, moving into Thursday afternoon, but the best chance does hold off until late this weekend, but not seeing any snow or any slick or snow covered roads out there this morning as we take a live look outside of Beloit, Wisconsin. Plenty of sunshine for the start of our Wednesday. Although the sun is shining, temperatures are bitterly cold because of how clear and quiet it was overnight last night. You can see temperatures well below zero in a couple of spots, including negative 15 in Savannah, negative 11 in Freeport, negative 8 in Rockford, DeKalb just making it to the zero degree mark. So before heading out the door, make sure to put on a couple of extra layers to stay warm. Grab your gloves and also your hat so that you can stay warm getting to your destination this morning. And then once you make it out on the roadways, there could be a few isolated slick spots still left over from the snow that fell overnight Monday into Tuesday. But we're going to keep that chance once again for slick spots later today as that system that's bringing heavy snow and freezing rain to portions of the south does bring us snow chances by this afternoon. Afternoon, but with high pressure overhead, we are staying relatively quiet with plenty of sunshine for the start of our Wednesday. You can see all of that heavy snow to the south of us moving across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, now making its way into Missouri. That's going to continue to lift northeastward, and as it makes its way to the south and southeast of the area, that's going to be bringing us snow chances this afternoon and evening. But let's take a look at that using Futurecast. Before we get into the snow chances, just want to let you know that models in particular have been underdoing the precipitation, so it won't show much, but just know that we have that chance for flurries and light snow starting around 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon and then stretching into the overnight hours. As we go into the evening commute, could be a few slick spots, but we're going to continue that chance for a couple of flurries and a couple of snow showers going into tomorrow morning. So take it slow this evening and then also watch out for slick spots by tomorrow morning. Now, as we look at tomorrow, we are going to stay mostly cloudy throughout the day. There'll be that chance again for a couple of isolated snow showers late in the day, but we should quiet down as we head into the end of the work week. Now, yesterday's high of 21 degrees ended an 11 day stretch with high temperatures below 20 degrees. In fact, our average high during that stretch was 8.8 .8 degrees. But as you can see here, we do stay in the teens for much of the rest of the work week. 18 today, 17 on Friday with a little sunshine for the end of the work week. But take a look at what happens to temperatures as we head into the Sunday and even Tuesday time frame. Back closer to normal will be around 30 Sunday and then Tuesday 37 degrees. Seven day forecast. We do stay in the teens today, keeping that chance for a couple of snow showers this afternoon and also Thursday afternoon. Best chance, though, and the system that we need to keep an eye on is the one that comes in Saturday night into Sunday. Back to you. All right.